We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. Now to the plate, Rymel Tapia, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. The 3 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. In now for Colorado, Daniel Murphy. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's one for four. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. Lamette is one of the more prolific strikeout artists in the game today. He'll get into double digits in K's, and of course, that means he's got outstanding stuff every five days. One of the things that go hand in hand, Matty V, if you want to strike guys out, you have to have good stuff, and this guy has great stuff. He has two different pitches that he can strike you out with, and as they rate him on a scale of one to ten, this guy has two pitches that rate that in hurt. eight or nine, which is really hard to find in baseball today. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lagar is giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one-two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. So the base is empty here with one away. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. The one one home. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their four. first base runner of the Not ball game now with two away. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Into the box, David Dahl. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. 
A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Coming to the plate now, Trevor Story. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Curveball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Swung on and missed three and two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. Second baseman, number one. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Striding in for the Rockies, Dom Nunez. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. Here now the 2-2. He swung on and missed strike three. So here now is the pitcher, Herman Marquez. And he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Marquez. The 1-1. One, one. Nope. You put yourself in this situation, you got to get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2-0 count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Fam is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Next to the plate for the Padres, Manny Machado, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Now the one and one pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At the plate, Will Myers. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman Brian Dozier. A 1-1 home. He is swung on and missed and that's strike two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. We're digging in now for San Diego. Francisco Mejia. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. High in the air out towards shallow right. Myers is under it. Makes the play one away. So one away now, now in the Colorado third. The and up next, postseason Daniel. record holder Daniel Murphy. The 1-1. One, one. Count is two and one. Line hard. But this is a foul ball. 
And he popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, third base, Nolan Arenado. Into the box now, Nolan Arenado. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing it. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Denelson Lamette, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1. One, one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. One down. Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty. One man out. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. The first, baseman, first baseman Eric Hosmer is in. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two-hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. And that is through into right field for a single. So now to the plate, Tommy Pham. Tommy somehow gets that one by him. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Stepping in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first, and the Padre threat goes by the boards as that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Charlie Blackman, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Dozier fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Story swings, and this ball is hammered to deep left field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. At the plate now, Garrett Hampson hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Uh, two, two. This one also hit deep to left field. Left fielder looking up, and it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs.
In now, Dom Nunez. This is flared out towards second, and this will be put away easily for the out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Manny Machado now. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, that last at bat, Manny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. So a full count now. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. So here's Will Myers. The 1-1 home. This one's down to third. Arenado has it. One there. Back to Murphy, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Brian Dozier. Chopped at third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one-two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ranging back is Tapia. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back. Into the box, Francisco Mejia. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Bouncer to the left side. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in, Herman Marquez. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Rockies pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rymel Tapia. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. Digging in now, Daniel Murphy. He's one for two in the ball game. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Now a throw over, and the runner back. Tapia stands at first with one out. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The third base. Nolan Arenado. He's set. Here comes the one one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge here. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Three and two, full count.
Count remains full. The next 3 2. And that misses. Ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. So here's the cleanup hitter, Charlie Blackman. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. The one and two pitch. Swing and a high drive to right center field. Myers going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. David Dahl to the plate now. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Two and one to David Dahl. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The 2-2 pitch. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. After it is Myers, he's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Juan Ligares. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Murphy will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. At the plate, now Eric Hosmer, who was a strikeout victim his first Eric. trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. The 2 2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. This is line to left, and that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back, left fielder, Tommy Pham. To the plate now, Tommy Pham. Oh, and this is low, ball two, two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Fernando Tatis Jr. is on deck. Count still full, three and two. Ball misses there, ball four. Two on here with one man out. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ground ball right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Standing in now, Manny Machado. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. One run scores. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. The right fielder, number four. So now to the plate, Will Myers. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. Right side. 
And that's through into right field for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only the one bat, away. Carlos Estevez is baseball. called upon to pitch, really needing oh, yeah. that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. At the plate now, Brian Dozier fouled off. Three runs, eight hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Step on the bag for one. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Andres Munoz takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 52. Andres. All set for the start of the inning. Trevor Story steps in now. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. And going back to that previous at-bat when he hit the two-strike breaking ball for a home run, something tells me that this guy, when he gets behind in the count, sits on something off-speed or the breaking ball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now Ready for another Number chance. One. Garrett Hampson. He went deep last time up. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Fam is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. The catcher, number three. Stepping up to the Dom plate, Dom Nunez. Nunez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Three and one. one thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Full count still. Ready with the payoff pitch. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And that's out number one. Greg Your Garcia pitcher, will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher for the here. Number five, Greg Garcia. One out, nobody on. To two and two now. <laughs> Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Stepping in, Juan Ligares. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. And he pops it up. Hampson is there, and the inning is over. Drew Pomerantz is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Josh Fuentes is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. 3-2 pitch. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Rymel Tapia, 0 for 2 for him to this point. 
fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Here's Daniel Murphy now. It was a walk in his last trip. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. And he'll dive back in safely. The 2 2 down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Lifted in the air to center field. On the move is Ligares. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now back. The third baseman, Colorado. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Called strike two. Bases are loaded with only one out. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. This one's flared out toward left. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well as they grab the lead here at 5-3. to three. Now that, Luis Perdomo team. takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. Ball. There are two on with only one away. At the plate, David Dahl pulled toward right center field. On the move is Ligares. He dives, but he can't make the play. And this one hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Trevor Story. And there's ball two now. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Now the one and one pitch is a fastball down below the knees. Three runs already home here. Heading out towards shallow right. Myers has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Coming to the plate now, Dom Nunez. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Fam is there now as he makes the catch, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Wade Davis will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Batting nine, number 14, Tony. The 2 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Ready once again, Tommy Pham. The left fielder, Tommy Pham. Now the one and one pitch. And a knuckleball's hit on the ground is short. Story scoops it up. Throw will get him at first, and Davis is looking good here. Two gone. Settling in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. He's working on a one for three thus far. Up 
Padres shortstop ahead with a three ball one strike count. Right side hit hard. And this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. The third baseman number 15. Manny. Into the box now. Manny Machado. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Jose Castillo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 65. Okay. That'll bring up Tony That's Walters. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Soft liner to the left side. And this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first out. Up next for Colorado. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. Rymel. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Ligaris. He gets there, and that's the second out. Daniel Murphy steps in now. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And the 2-1. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series. And maybe even the whole week ahead. Now the three and two pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Into the box, Nolan Arenado. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. The one, two. Gets him looking. Strike three. Brian Shaw goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 29. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping into the box, Will Myers. He singled his last time up. Now the 2 1 is taken, ball three. Shaw was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Hot shot down the line. Now the three and two pick. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound, and he'll flip on to first to record the out. Here's Brian Dozier now. He was a double play victim last time around. Three runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready with the one and two. This is two and two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Francisco Mejia is on deck. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The next three, two. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Arenado will look this one in, and that's out number two. Now Digging in the switch her. hitter, Francisco Ron Mejia. Pico. 0 for 2 from him so far Ron in this one. Pico. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. 
I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew it. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Now in the box, Charlie Blackman. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. A ball and two strikes now. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Hits this one hard the other way. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now batter, the left fielder, David Dahl. Standing in now, David Dahl. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. Misses, ball two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Pham has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Runner is second, one away, and in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. And the indication from the dugout comes, it looks like they're going to put him on intentionally, so that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Runners are at first and second with one away. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals, and it's fouled away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Well, this is smeared by the first baseman, Ian Desmond. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. This one's down to third. Taken in by Machado. On to first, and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. Scott Hooper, if the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Josh Naylor will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the night. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Striding in, Juan Ligaris. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready on one and two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. He's got it, and there are two down now. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. San Diego down to their final strike. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base. This is the and he holds up on this one, but it's a cold strike three. And with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. 
Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. Colorado used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Carlos Estevez claims the win out of the pen his first. Scott Oberg wraps it up for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. For the Padres, three runs on nine hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.